bombs here. What's up guys, James Palms here. So I got home here. I'm just gonna do a little walk around, a quick yard tour. Uh, I got home from Florida. It's the first week of September now. I've been home for a couple days and I thought I'd give a walk around. I think today is the 5th of September, something like that. So uh, here's my Christmas palm. Sorry, my neighbor's cutting the grass there. Hopefully it won't be too loud. Here's my Christmas palm. Opening a new frond right now. It was warm, really warm, about 27 to 30 Celsius pretty much every single day I was gone. Towards the end, we had a big heat wave. We were even in the mid mid 30 Celsius, uh, mid 30 Celsius when I got home, so like 95 Fahrenheit in that range. So the palms loved it. I'm sure they grew a lot. When I came home, it was still pretty warm. Uh, it's cooled off a little bit now. It's uh, been high 20s uh, Celsius, that is. So around sunny and 75 to sunny and 80. So this palm here I counted yesterday, it's got 11 fronds, it's opening another one right now of this season it's got 11 fronds and they are big and they're pretty nice and they're pretty sturdy they're not as uh as sloppy as some uh regular fortuna so this one i'm really happy with it really beautiful looks awesome it's great growth this year uh super happy with it anyways all the seedlings are really nice dark green these are all the healthiest seedlings i have and these are all growing the fastest that's always the case in the ground most of them are on four Leaf number four or leaf number five. Leaves are getting wider, darker, more ribbed. Got some nice ribs on them. These are all seedlings that sort of planted themselves here and I left them. So they've already overwintered one year, so they'll be going over. And make sure I make the box big enough to tuck them in there. Uh, and here's my uh, first seed grown, my largest seed grown uh, Mexican fan palm that I planted here in, uh, in Southern Ontario. There's the trunk right now. There's my, there's my hand. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's definitely good. I believe it's had. I believe it's on. It's about uh, ninth front as well, eighth or ninth, something like that. Mostly all new ones. It's about shoulder height. It's about five foot tall, planted height right now. These ones are all my potted stuff. Uh, yeah, this was that cold hardy one. That super cold hardy one. Got lots more potted stuff here. Some palmettos and mo those were mostly all Mexican fan palms. It'll be for sale. Uh, you can actually, if somebody wants uh, to message me, you can. Uh, I can sell some of these in the fall now. Here, they're, they've grown out their transplant shock from uh, splitting up them. They were all in a single pot. There's my uh, dwarf, super dwarf Cavendish. It's got two huge pups on it. I already cut off one, and the ones over there, it was just kept getting blown over. I put it over against my fence. Maybe I'll show you that quickly. And there's the second seed grown one. This is from uh, the videos series where I made with uh, how to grow from seed and I had all the seeds this was the fastest growing one of that that's the second fastest growing one but there that guy is anyways this trunk's almost the same size as the other one there it's it's getting pretty big it's about sunny and 75 today it's been like I said about 75 to 80 every day uh, since I got home five five days ago something like that I don't know uh, and here's uh, my little Banana Joe uh, supposedly hybrids. They look like regular Fortuna to me, but and my other Fortuna there. Oh, there's some dark rain clouds coming in. Blue sky over there, but nevertheless, that one's looking good too. Didn't do amazing this year. It's only made about four fronds or five fronds, something like that. Maybe I think it might be opening number six right now, so it's not too bad. It still has a relatively full head on it. The other one, though, looks a lot better. I mean, that's a really thick... That's a dense, thick, full crown here on this guy. So that one looks awesome. These guys are looking good too. Grass was super dry, obviously, if we're not watering it so much, but uh, I, water I started watering it, and thankfully we've been getting a lot of rain since I came home. There's the beast from the east. There's the star of the show, in my opinion. Look at that washy. It's opened like three fronds since I've been home. It's opening one every couple of days. Sorry about the noise from the lawnmower here. Hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, it opened that one just the other day and it's opening that one now. And there's about three more fronds in this. It keeps like three to four, maybe even five fronds together in there in one spear. And there's the, my hand with the frond size. Really can't see it. Uh, 
but they're massive anyways. Beautiful color, gorgeous palm. Sun's actually burning me a little bit right now. It feels really nice, but there it is anyways. That's my, my biggest Mexican fan palm and probably my favorite palm. This one's opening the new, this palmetto's opening the new frond right now. It's really floppy though. The, the fronds are, they're not loving it. I don't know if they've just been uh, getting diminished. The size of them has shrunk, which doesn't make sense because it's, it, well, it is in a fair amount of shade, uh, but it doesn't look great. It's got pushed out another one this way, pushed out one that way. It's actually made three fronds, but they're all the smallest fronds and pushed out one this way and opened it up and now it's trying to open another one. They're the smallest, floppiest fronds ever. Usually it's big and floppy. These are small and floppy. Uh, it's, it's some type of deficiency. I'm guessing it's just hasn't been happy because trying to grow this transplant shock and it never got uh, a full head on. It just keeps consistently growing like this. So hopefully I'll do something a little bit better in the spring. Uh, and if not, I might have to let this palm go one day. It's, it's just, it always looks like garbage. So we'll see what I can do. Uh, I'll give it a little, maybe one last sort of hurrah to try to do a better winterization this year. And maybe if it can keep some fronds on and get through two years, of uh, growing that maybe it'll look a little bit better perhaps so there's the other banana pup that kept getting blown over in the wind there it is right there it's still looking really good uh, definitely made it and I'll just quickly show you the front yard here too grass is starting to come back it was super super dry when I came home but I've been watering it a lot and we've been getting a lot of rain since I came home I brought the rain with me because it was raining a fair amount when I left in Florida too. But uh, here's the little hybrids in here, recovered awesomely. It's about to open another one. I think they've had about, this one's got about four or five at least right here that I can see since the spear pull. This one's opening a frond right now. These are all growing really good. They like, this is the weather where these trackies really come alive, I think. This one's, uh, just opened this one the other day. You can see because it's still light green and it's opening another one right now. And there's another one ready to go here. This is pretty much fully out too, so looking really good and this guy's opening a frond right now too to open this one this one opened at least four or five I think that was the one that was sort of at the beginning there there's got another one here coming another one there ready to open this one's opening one too and it's got another nice one there these are pretty big and pretty sloppy but giant and beautiful and really white on the backs as you can see from there the back of the fronds very white beautiful though this one's growing like mad again. It's trying to reach the roof. And the trunk is crazy. It's nice and fat. It doesn't look fat in the video, but man, that is actually pretty fat. There's my hand. For a washi tr or for a windmill trunk, that's really good. That's my fattest windmill trunk right now at the base right there. So anyways, that's it guys. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I am home now. I might have some more Florida videos coming still. I don't know exactly when I'm going to upload this and how much time I have to finish my other Florida videos, but haven't got around to editing. Uh, I ended up ruining my phone in Florida from a water damage, so haven't been able to get a chance to get anything sort of edited and uploaded. But uh, I will upload this, uh, I believe today, the day I'm taking it, so get this uploaded. And uh, yeah, that's how, that's how the yard's doing. You can see the washi poking its head over the fence there. So thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe later.